Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Andrew and in this video we have Lenovo T420, a 14-inch laptop from 2011. I got this laptop from one company a while ago. The company has sold their old stuff, like laptops, printers, some other stuff and between all I found this machine. This laptop is coming with a charger and as well with a several problems. The first one is, the battery is gone, which is very expected. The second is, this machine has no hard disk, but that's because of security reasons. And the last is, the display is broken. The laptop case in general is in a good condition, the top side has some scratches, but the case isn't broken or something, and this machine is functional. I have done some basic tests and all went fine. Well, let's start, back this machine in function again and make it better. Let's start with disassembling. And a few words about this machine. The model that we are working on is coming with the usual specs. The CPU is second generation Intel i5 2410M, the RAM is 4GB DDR3 and usually these machines are shipped with 320GB standard mechanical hard disk and the GPU is Intel HD 3000. But some of these models, I mean T2400, are coming with NVIDIA NVS 2200M, which is a better option. And I'm finished with disassembling. But now let's move to cleaning. And I will start with cleaning and checking the electronics first. To clean the electronics I'm using soft brushes, 96% isopropyl alcohol, cotton buds and compressed air. And while cleaning I check any part as well, in case if I need to make some additional repair or replace something.
and all the electronics are clean. Also fine. We don't need to change anything. Now let's move to the case. In this video I will cross over a dry cleaning. I mean I won't wash some plastics, as I do to some other laptops. Considering the age of the laptop, this machine is pretty clean. But anyway, I will remove even the tiniest dust from the case. The top of the case is covered with a soft rubber. And not the best design for the laptops. Fortunately, the case isn't sticky. So good cleaning will make most of the scratches gone. And I'm done with cleaning the case. But before I continue to assembling and upgrades, let's clean the display that I just bought. For this machine I bought a used display. It's cheaper than a new one. To clean the display I will use 96% isopropyl alcohol and anti-static glass cleaner. Also if you're going to clean some of these type of displays, be very careful. Especially pay attention at the edges. These slim displays are super easy to damage. And this is the display. Looks fine. Has a few tiny scratches, which is very expected from a used display. But in general, all is good. And now I can start with assembling. And in the process, we're gonna do some nice upgrades. Well, now let's upgrade the CPU. On this machine I will place i7-2760 QM. The difference between i5-2410M and the i7-2760QM is almost double. 
also the cooling may look small, but it's not good to cool down the CPU. Now, before I place the keyboard, it's time for the next upgrade, the RAM. The RAM is going to be 16GB in total, also 16GB is maximum that this model supports. And we're almost done, but now at the end the next change is the disk. Here I will go with 204GB Kingston SSD. I know, 204GB isn't much, I think 500GB will be better, but I spent the budget on RAM and the battery. And this is the battery. This battery is used. I can find a new one and it's extended battery. I want to place a normal size battery to keep the shape of the laptop. But anyway, I'm glad that I found a battery for this model. Now I move to test the laptop. And as well, installing Windows, Windows drivers, doing some additional tests and customization. And after all, this is the final result. It's gonna take a while. So what I wanna hang with my friends. So what I wanna go out again. So what I wanna write you a song. It's not my fault that you can't sing along. I try to keep it cool anyways. I try to stay away from the stay. I'm making my Well, now let's take a closer look and do a few more experiments. On this laptop I install a Windows 11 Pro. And yes, it's possible to run a Windows 11 to some older hardware. Particularly on this machine, the Windows 11 is working just fine. Even I done updates and all pass with no problems at all. Also, the license key from the Windows 7 is still working on Windows 11. Just in this case, I cross over the manual activation process. I mean, I enter the product key manually and I cross over a short activation. In general, this machine is great for most basic daily tasks, like web browsing, watching movies or videos, listening to music, working with some documents, some games and etc. But this machine can go to another level and be even better. So let's do some things. On this laptop, we're gonna connect a desktop GPU or AK eGPU. I have done this because I really want to experiment and play with the touch and do something different. Connecting a GPU can go in a two different combinations. The basic device is EXP GDC, 
The connection goes over Express Card, Mini PCI Express or NGFF. The power supply can go over EXPGDC where we can use 6 plus 8 pin cable as maximum. And in this case we need an 8 pin Dell DA2 power adapter. In another case we need the same EXPGDC with the same cables, I mean Express Card, Mini PCI Express or NGFF. And we can use a standard desktop power supply. The EXPGDC is capable for both. On this device we have a switch to choose between what we're going to use. PW stands for power adapter and ATX stands for desktop PCU. The basic tests I did it using my sketch table, which at the same time can be a full HD display. I've tried to make to use the GPU on internal display, but with the latest drivers and Windows 11 I didn't make it. Anyway, I'm able to play videos or do some other job on the laptop display and at the same time to play games on the monitor. Previously something like this wasn't possible because the laptop has DirectX 10.1 support and the Crysis 3 requested DirectX 11. But with additional graphic card everything is much different. Now when I'm done with the basic testing let's move to a bigger monitor. Here first I play with some settings like some calibration, making some customization and set up the audio source. In this case the sound while playing games or doing something is coming from the internal speakers of the laptop but also I can connect a regular speakers through that 3.5 mm audio jack. And let's move to gaming. The gaming on this laptop is going pretty well. In Crisis 3 I'm using high to very high settings and the game is running with about 30 to 50 plus FPS, which is pretty good. Previously this machine wasn't capable of playing DirectX 11 games, nor games with better graphics. Also now I'm using 4 GB GTX 960. It's an older GPU but it's okay for this machine. Now let's try something different. The GTX 690. This is an older GPU and this is a dual GPU. I mean two GPUs in one. And basically here we have SLI. In this case I've tried so hard to set up this GPU. But with the latest available drivers and Windows 11 it doesn't work. Anyway we're gonna leave this for another video. And the last GPU that I test is AMD Radeon RX 580 with 8GB of video memory. Here I install the latest drivers and the GPU is working without any problems. But with this GPU I got the same results as using the GTX 960. Here the problem isn't coming from the GPU. The problem is coming from the Express Card connection. And this is the maximum that an Express Card connection can provide. I mean these are the limits of this connection. And this is all about this 14 inch Lenovo T420. Even after years this machine is still useful and can do a good job for a basic daily tasks. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope this video will give ideas and inspiration to back in function, upgrade and do something with your current or older touch. Also if you like my content you can press the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.
Have you ever felt like you was on display? Every word you said just had to be explained I guess my time's run out It's just confusion Confusion Try to come around But I know it's gonna take a while So what? I wanna hang with my friends So what? I wanna go out again So what? I wanna write you a song It's not my fault that you can't sing alone I try to keep it cool anyway